The only thing we can be sure of about the future is that it will be absolutely fantastic. So, if what I say now seems to you to be very reasonable, then I'll fail completely. Only if what I tell you appears absolutely unbelievable have we any chance of visualizing the future as it really will happen. Let's start by looking at the city of the future. Some people think that it, it will be like this. But what about the city of the day after tomorrow? Say, the year 2000. I think it will be completely different. In fact, it may not even exist at all. Oh, I'm not thinking of the atom bomb and the next Stone Age. I'm thinking of the incredible breakthrough which has been made possible by developments in communications, particularly the transistor and, above all, the communication satellite. These things will make possible a world in which we can be in instant contact with each other, wherever we may be, where we can contact our friends anywhere on Earth, even if we don't know their actual physical location. It will be possible in that age, perhaps only 50 years from now, for a man to conduct his business from Tahiti or Bali just as well as he could from London. In fact, if it proves worthwhile, almost any executive skill, any administrative skill, even any physical skill, could be made independent of distance. I am perfectly serious when I suggest that one day we may have brain surgeons in Edinburgh operating on patients in New Zealand. When that time comes, the whole world will have shrunk to a point, and the traditional role of the city as a meeting place for man would have ceased to make any sense. In fact, men will no longer commute, they will communicate. The most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys, they'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present-day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think, and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. Is this depressing? I don't see why it should be. We superseded the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal men, and we presume we're an improvement. I think we should regard it as a privilege to be stepping stones to higher things. I suspect that organic or biological evolution has about come to its end, and we are now at the beginning of inorganic or mechanical evolution, which will be thousands of times swifter. And yet, you know, human beings are almost infinitely adaptable. Look at the incredible changes we've experienced and survived from the Stone Age to the present time. And yet even greater changes are still to come because the future is not merely an extension of the present with bigger and better machines and cities and gadgets. It will be fundamentally different, and many of the things we take for granted will one day pass away as completely as, oh, spinning wheels and sedan chairs and oil lamps. And that is why the future is so endlessly fascinating, because try as we can, We'll never outguess it.